Making bread with a KitchenAid stand mixer is a completely different experience from making it by hand, and it's a lot easier. This video will give you an idea of what you need to make bread, what it looks like while it's kneading, and what it should look like when it's ready to rise. Here I'll be making the basic white bread recipe, and you'll find that recipe in your use and care guide. There's also a really great bread baking tips section in your use and care guide. I have all of my ingredients assembled, flour, yeast, water, and the warmed butter and milk for this recipe. I add my yeast and my water, which is at about 110 degrees, and my dough hook. You'll always use your dough hook for yeast bread. I just dissolve the yeast slowly and then add the rest of my liquid ingredients and begin to add my flour. For this recipe, I start out with about four and a half cups of flour. Turn the mixer on to the speed two and watch as it kneads. When the dough is done kneading, it clings to the hook but cleans the sides of the bowl. Remove the dough hook and you can add a little bit of oil to the top of that dough and roll it around in the bottom of the bowl to coat it. This lets it rise easily. Now we're ready to let it rise. You can cover it with a towel and leave it in a draft free warm place for about a half an hour or until it doubles in bulk. Here it's all done rising and I'll punch it down and divide it. Just try to pinch the dough in half without pulling it too much and then shape it into a loaf. You can roll it out and then roll it up if you prefer. Back into the prepared bread pans and I'll cover it again with the towel and let it rise again until it's double. Then it goes back into the oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. And when we're done we have two great loaves of bread to share.